Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. In today's video, I'm sharing some new released fall home decor as well as decorating in our home. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. We're starting today's video with installing these beautiful light fixtures on each side of our French doors. I love the gold accent and kind of the character it brings to this space. And what I love most about it was I was able to cut the cords and make this something that can be used with just light bulbs that are rechargeable. So a great inexpensive little project there. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys a little fall decor haul of items from Decor Steals' Steal It box. I have shared this over on our short shelf of YouTube, so if you guys haven't seen those videos, they're a lot of fun and I really enjoy making them. I love sharing our home through that and just little sneak peeks of things that I'm going to be sharing the weeks to come. And this box is so great because a big majority of it is everyday items that just flow well with the fall season, but that can be used all year round. And I love these pumpkins because they look like the Pottery Barn dupes. So they're very, very expensive pumpkins that you can get at a fraction of the cost. Now here I was gonna install our beautiful curtains with these rods and curtain hangers from Amazon that I got that are gold. But unfortunately, we ended up finding out that we do not have support beams there. So we are unable to hang those heavy curtains. So we'll have to find somewhere else to put those. But now I'm taking you guys into my entryway and I'm changing up our rug in here to kind of give something that gives a little bit more of a story and character when you enter our home. Kind of just like our little stool over there that's vintage. So we're bringing in this beautiful rug that's from Revival Rugs. And this is a true authentic vintage rug. It's imperfect and it's beautiful. Both ends have a completely different look. One of them has a fray look, the other has a really polished look at the end. And I just love the story that it tells when you walk into this space. And it's super, super cozy too. If you guys haven't heard of Revival before, they have so many different rugs for many different styles of home, whether it be washable rugs or everyday rugs. So I will leave a link and a special code for you guys in the description box below. And they were so kind enough to send us this as a gift. And so a big thank you to them. Now, like I was telling you earlier, if you want the sneak peek of what's to come in our long length YouTube videos, you guys gotta check out our shorts. It's kind of like one of those things where you get the inside scoop ahead of time. But we got these beautiful new bar stools and I shared them on there and I love them. They are called the Industrial Farmhouse Stools by Cotton and Crete. And I personally just think it gives the perfect amount of farmhouse even to a modern home. It just looks really, really beautiful. And I love the fact that you can use them for any height of a bar or counter area. So if you move or anything like that, you wanna move it to like a desk space, you totally can and it'll work in multiple different spaces. Now I decided from our last video that I was gonna go ahead and go with my gut feeling and move these beautiful photos from our bedroom out into our family area and move that beautiful American flag into our office. And I love it because it goes really well. The wood goes well with the wood. And since our bedroom is a little bit more like a modern coastal feel, those other beautiful frames will look perfect in there because it's got that black kind of matte finish and I think it'll just go so, so well with that style. We got these photos done by a local photographer. Her name is Vanessa Tobin and we just adore these. The sun was out beautiful and I already want to take photos again. I love it. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys just some glimpses into our home. I know a lot of you want to see a home tour and so hopefully we can do that soon. I just feel like there's a million projects to do and sometimes I have a hard time sharing my own home because I want all those projects to be done 
but they just seem to be never ending. And I'm sure you guys totally understand what I mean by that. Now I'm just making my husband and I some tea and I'm gonna make us some iced tea. So we have this really great ice machine. We have, um, our ice machine is broken on our fridge, our freezer part of our fridge. And uh, so we got a nugget machine and this is, I think it's called the Jevy or the Jivy ice maker. It's got such a cute aesthetic to it and I love how much ice it makes and it's super crunchy just like that hospital nugget ice. I'm sure a lot of mamas out there know what I'm talking about. It's a lot less noisy than I anticipated, which is great. I do wake up fairly early in the morning, um, as early as 4.20 in the morning a few days a week. And so if I want to bring an ice drink to go, this is great. I don't have to turn off my ice maker or anything like that. I feel like lately I've been sharing a lot of our outdoor space and I just wanted to give you guys a little look into what that's looking like. This is a tree that I got maybe a year or two ago and I was gonna list it on Facebook Marketplace because I'm like, I've got so many other trees inside. And I thought it'd be fun to just bring it out here instead. And I kind of love the way that's looking. So I think it kind of completes that gazebo space and it's just really, really fun. And I'm kind of doing some minor random decorating here. I installed that beautiful seed sign right there and I'm adding a few pieces that are from Cotton and Crete's website, adding some yummy drinks since our friends were coming over this evening just making it as fun and festive for the night to come as I can and I made this really yummy muffin recipe and so I thought that that would be fun to bring outside if we get hungry and the next day we didn't end up playing outside as much this night but the next night we um, had a cozy heater on and we played games we played what do you mean outside and so by then the muffins were gone, so they were a hit, but I love the way this looked. It just looked very aesthetically pleasing and I love the way it looks. I wish I could have it out here like this every single day. Now, any chance I can get to take photos of my kids, I will, and I just thought they looked darling and I had to snap some photos. And one thing that I like to do is I actually take videos and then I screenshot the photos. So. I just feel like I have it down a little bit better with videos than I do photography. And so that's what I do. And then I'm left with all these adorable little clips of my kids that I can be able to save for years and be able to watch those. So I think it's a little bit of a win-win. Now this is the heater that I was telling you guys just about that we had near us for game night and it worked out so perfectly. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, just because where we live, it gets so cold at night. So really, really happy about this. Great little find. And I actually didn't end up finishing the build of it. Um, my husband and our friend finished it. And so I was really thankful for that. <laughs> it ended up being a little bit more tricky than anticipated for myself. Now our friends arrived at 7.30 at night and so it was our chance to spend time with them and hang out and enjoy this beautiful weekend. It was the Lavender Festival, which we skipped and enjoyed some time at the pool. So today's video is to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye.